Welcome to the Reflection course. This course is designed for two purposes. One, to help you develop your reflection skills and to be a more reflective teacher. Two, to lay the groundwork for your portfolio that you will be assessed with as part of your program. So the course will begin with a few readings and activities focused on reflection, then you will begin to lay out your framework for your reflection on the artifacts that you have already submitted through your other courses as part of your portfolio. What about the textbook for this course? We are going to use the book Reflective Practice to Improve Schools. This book will assist you in developing a personal reflection process and also engage in reflection in pairs and groups. It is my hope that after this course, you will be able to take some of these research-based strategies to help you become better teachers by being more thoughtful, proactive, and collaborative. We also will read about the growth mindset to consider how we can be more open to reflection and improving our practice. Other readings in this course will be chosen by you and your fellow teachers and will focus on research on being a reflective teacher and also practical advice to be more reflective. It is my hope that this kind of focus on reflection will help you be even more effective and will also help you to practice your 21st century skills and engage in leadership activities in your work settings. I'm most excited by this because of the diversity of the students in this course. Some of you come from other professional experiences and some of you are already nationally certified teachers and so have engaged in considerable reflection already. These perspectives will be interesting and beneficial for everyone in the course. Then the second part of the course will focus on beginning the framework of your portfolio that will be assessed at the end of the program. We will deal with some of the logistics and processes that you will need to begin organizing your portfolio to show your progression and learning. We will explore the criteria for this portfolio. After learning more about teacher reflection, it is my hope that you will be energized to reflect upon your learning so far in the master's program and begin to work on your assessment portfolio. Now that we have an overview of the course, let's get started.